Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Unique Bio Classes based on NCERT syllabus for PUC first and second year. If you like my channel, please subscribe, like and share and hit the bell icon so that you can get notifications as soon as videos are getting uploaded. Okay, okay guys, today we shall start our video based on the structure of an egg or ova. That structure of an egg or ova you will find in your textbook on page number 51 and this is that structure of an ovum or an egg. Now this structure of an ovum or an egg it has been clearly shown. It has been shown with the fertilization. How sperms are reaching to the uh, are getting fertilized with the ova that it has been shown. But first we shall know how what does this structure consist of. Okay later we shall discuss about fertilization and implantation. Okay we shall start. So I have drawn that structure of ovum here. If you find this is a structure of an egg or ova or an ovum. So this structure of an egg consists of this kind of structure. I have drawn very easiest structure here so that it might be uh, it might be helpful for you all to draw it easily and to understand it. Okay. So as you find this one, this is the egg or an ova. It consists of nucleus okay as you know because egg is a single cell right so it consists of a nucleus and it also consists of nucleolus now here it is covered by the plasma membrane okay the innermost layer which we can find it is the plasma membrane inner to the plasma membrane it consists of the cytoplasm as a normal cell consists of a cytoplasm here also it consists of cytoplasm that cytoplasm here it is called as ooplasm okay that cytoplasm here it is called as ooplasm now in this you can find in this ooplasm there will be a presence of okay there will be presence of cell organelles which i have not shown here but as in a normal cell you will find there will be a presence of cell organelles like mitochondria uh, other organelles okay golgi complex uh, other uh, this one uh, endoplasmic reticulum all those organelles will be present similar to the normal cell okay so there is a presence of nucleus with the nucleolus and nucleus is haploid okay it consists of haploid number of chromosomes that is 23 chromosomes will be present and there is a presence of ooplasm ooplasm is surrounded by the plasma membrane and plasma membrane it is surrounded by it is surrounded by here vitelline membrane the other second layer around this uh, plasma membrane you can find it is called as vitelline membrane the space between the plasma membrane and the vitelline membrane we call it as vitelline membrane space okay or perivitelline space as we have shown here okay it is called as perivitelline space the space between plasma membrane and this vitelline membrane that space we call it as perivitelline space okay now there will be presence of a thin layer or transparent layer of zona pellucida this layer we call it as zona pellucida and surrounding to this layer there will be presence of cells these cells are arranged in a layer called as a corona radiator or this layer is called as corona radiator and the cells of it it is called as cells of corona radiator okay cells of it it is called as cells of corona radiator and the layer is called as corona radiator hope you got this structure okay now its explanation points we have here <coughs> so as you find here the mature ovum is spherical or oval in shape okay the mature ovum it is spherical its shape is spherical or oval and its uh, size is of 0.1 millimeter okay the ovum is surrounded by inner plasma membrane as i said there is a presence of inner plasma membrane and an outer vitelline membrane these two lines which we have shown okay inner one is plasma membrane outer one is vitelline membrane the plasma membrane includes a large amount of cytoplasm or ooplasm as i said inside the plasma membrane there is presence of cytoplasm or ooplasm and there is an haploid large nucleus there is a presence of nucleus and various cell organelles are present the plasma membrane of the ovum is surrounded by the inner thin transparent non-cellular zona pellucida. This one is this layer which we have shown here. This layer it is thin transparent non-cellular it does not consist of cell. That layer we call it as zona pellucida and outer one is thick cellular okay which means it is thick layer it is made up of cells that layer we call it as corona radiator as you can find cellular corona radiator. Zona pellucida is secreted by ovum itself. Okay, this zona pellucida layer, with this which one? This one, this thin transparent layer which is present outside. That one is secreted by ova itself, 
and there is a narrow perivital line space between zona pellucida and a plasma membrane is it in between the plasma membrane and a zona pellucida there is a perivital line space the plasma membrane gives off microvilli to absorb food materials from the follicular cells during growth okay as this one is growing as this ova should grow it should get nourishment is it without nourishment a cell could not grow a cell, cell could not undergo a growth phase for that reason this plasma membrane it will start to form microvilli something like this okay this kind of structure okay like this finger like projections as you can find in an intestine okay as finger like projections these we call it as microvilli plasma membrane gives up this microvilli to absorb food material so that food materials can get absorbed from the follicular cells during the growth phase okay so this is the structure of an ova now about this one we have discussed uh, in uh, uh, structure of sperm i think while we were discussing about structure of sperm there we have talked about one of the enzyme called as hyaluronidase atrophin lysine different enzymes we have discussed is it if you remember structure of sperm uh, it was somewhere here okay can you find this this was the structure of sperm this was the acrosome acrosome consists of there is acrosome consists of enzymes like we said hyaluronidase hyaluronidase which used to dissolve the hyaluronic acid of an egg and corona penetrating enzyme is present that corona penetrating enzyme is used to develop corona corona radiata acrosin is present which dissolves zona pellucida right hope you remember you have if you have a note of that you can see that one and uh, after knowing the structure of an egg you will come to know right so acrosin it is used to dissolve zona pellucida and uh, one more we said that is corona penetrating enzyme it is used to dissolve this corona radiata cells why it should be dissolved because sperm when it reaches here okay sperm will reach to the egg when it reaches here it has to pass to this and reach to the nucleus so that the nucleus of an sperm and the nucleus of an egg both should get fertilized both should get mixed with together together so for that we call it as fertilization so that will take place when when these outer layers are removed so these outer layer are getting dissolved with the help of the acrosome which is present at the tip of the sperm which will release its enzymes and each enzyme is dissolving this then easily this sperm can reach to the nucleus of the ovum okay so about that one how it will reach what is will happen what are the steps during fertilization that i shall discuss in my next video if you have any doubts any queries please comment it in the comment box and uh, we shall meet in my next video stay safe stay healthy